brave enough to start up their own business. All they want is a chance, and they are receiving it at Second Chance. Yeah, one of the most underrated places in our city with history everywhere within its four walls, and they are going to be promoting Black History Month by inviting Black-owned businesses to set up shop. Chances are you have strolled into this palace where it's a cross between a Home Depot and Mr. Leonard's history class. Yeah, it's such a cool, cool space. I have a tiny house. I can, I actually, every time I walk in here, I have to put my head down because I don't want to, I, I can't buy anything else. <laughs> yeah, they have everything. But if you look under the old coal field house floor from College Park, you'll see startups that deserve your attention. So we're kind of like Build-A-Bear, but for journals. She is Baltimore's drama mama. I kind of did it as a means to kind of escape um, some tough emotions I was facing at the time. She makes stationery for you and homemade journals. And when I turned the page, I quickly found out her story. Oh, wow, you getting all up in the story. <laughs> all right, so Katrina happened and um, I ended up evacuating and going to Texas. And um, uh, I couldn't go back home, you know, for months. We couldn't go back home. And so I ended up uh, getting a scholarship to go to Cotton State. Now you can be in the right state of mind. Just fill in the blank sheet. It clears me out, and I want other people to feel cleared out by it, too. You know, I want them to feel good. How about mm-mm good? Our cookies are actually create your own. You so go on Nina's well, Cookies well, website, well, you pick the ingredients, well, and well, Nina well, makes the goodies all by herself and then delivers them to your front door. It's kind of like the cookie door dash. A sugar cookie with sprinkles, chocolate chips, white chocolate chips, and marshmallows. First person she called when she sold her first batch. My mom. <laughs> I go to my mom every time. Every time something new happens with the business, I'm like, guess what? And she helps me at every farmer's market, everything. Like she is kind of my volunteer behind the scenes because I don't pay her. <laughs> and while the cookie dough rises at her home kitchen, she manages to raise money for charity always giving since i can push a broom jordan taylor runs a company that will make your house smarter your energy more efficient kind of turn that on its head like putting windmills on your roof to energize your house he's been a businessman all his life i started my first business when i was in middle school so all throughout baltimore city baltimore county you know everybody goes cutting grass so that was me pushing lawnmowers up and down bna and richie highway from west africa to paris to canada you have an explosion of style and culture that's you that's me queen regal right here you can exercise at seven and zoom at eight in the same outfit but when they're on the conference calls or the zoom calls they don't want to be caught unprepared in you know, little tidy whities or anything. So this is something that's professional. You could have at home or just when you're going around shopping. And she even came up with a vegan cosmetic bag. It shows that the traditional prints from West Africa can be, you know, created into anything. At Second Chance, you will find everything you can only imagine with businesses thankful for a chance to show off what they did imagine. Like a leaf on an old mahogany dining room table, this tribute to Black History Month fits. Not only do they restore the bridge, but they repair the gap. I love Second Chance. It's right near the stadiums in South Baltimore. They're open Thursday through Sunday, and next month, they're going to celebrate women businesses. And then in April, they'll promote flower and gardening groups for this coming spring.